hey YouTube. Today is April 23rd, yes, uh, Saturday, and um, let's weigh ourselves. Jimmy's here, Jimmy's here, Jimmy's here, Jimmy's here, yeah! I almost fell down. <laughs> oh man, we've been trying to get Jimmy and Katie to come up here for like the longest time, together as a couple down from Phoenix. It's only two hours away. It's only two hours away, guys. Jimmy's Katie is working today. Uh, she's working at a bank. But Jimmy's here, and I see his truck, and he's gonna pick me up. He's gonna pick me up on the side of the road. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh god, that's a little close. Oh, jeepers. Dude, look at your sweet ride. I know. All red velvet. Does it have a name yet? Katie. That's original. <laughs> Okay, so we're here in the library, and I'm showing Jimmy, oh, I'm sorry, I'm showing Jimmy the Calusa collection. I haven't shown you guys this. This guy made all of these, like, tiny little miniature model airplanes. Whoa. And, uh, there's a whole nother set of this collection upstairs, which continues on. This airplane here is the one that... Katie's grandfather actually helped design. I'll let her tell you herself. Okay, so we were saying that your grandpa was a... Two-star general in the Air Force. Nice. He um, led this um, project. He was the leader of the project for the XB-70. And um, that's what that is. Yeah, that's it right there. This one. Wait, no. Yes. Yeah, that's it. That's it right there. That's the XP-70. And they only made two prototypes, and the project ended. They didn't complete it, like, more, but then his technology was later used in the space shuttle. Oh, yeah. which is which is over here. Which well, is actually, which, is right, over which is right next to it. <coughs> this is what was in right. Apollo yeah. 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 So right that's th pretty cool, huh? His name was... Uh, General, General Fred. Fred Ascani. And you can Google him. He has his own Wikipedia, Wikipedia page and everything. He does. General Fred J. Ascani. General Fred J. Ascani. So now we're upstairs, and here's the cotton picking continuation of this, the Guinness, it's the Guinness Book of World Records holder for the smallest airplane collection. Miniature airplane. Biggest collection of miniature. <sighs> Done. So this is your rudder inputs. Just go ahead and uh, full right, full left to see if that's working. Okay, guys. Secret. Uh, are you all ready? Yeah, we're ready. Are we? Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Going to the. Dun, 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 dun. Zoo. Heritage Park Zoo. Heritage Park Zoo. Woohoo. Okay, yeah. guys. This zoo is literally right across the street from my university. And uh, we came here a while ago to do volunteer work. And, uh,. It's a it's a cute little place. It's a zoological sanctuary where animals come well, after they animals now after they've been like abused and the stuff. Native Prescottian. So, Prescottonian. Prescottonian. Yes. So we're gonna hang out here for a little while and show Katie and Jimmy the zoo. I've been waiting for the zoo all week. She's been waiting. There better be baboons.
So, uh, so that's about it here at our little zoological sanctuary. Glad you guys could tag along and enjoy yourselves. Really? Really, Zoo? We have to exit through the gift shop? That's not gonna force us to buy anything, is it? Oh. Right. oh gosh. We shouldn't have exited through the gift shop. Bye, Bye Jimmy! Jimmy. <laughs> uh. Well, that's enough. Peel out. Brr, peel out of the Ford F-150. I love the brake light. At the top? <laughs> yeah. Want to give me a piggyback ride back? No. <gasps> Why? I don't have shoes on. Do for. But my toes are cute. I guess. I got my piggyback, people. <sighs> okay, so tonight <laughs> I'm going to be making bruschetta chicken so I could do something else that I've never done before. These are the things that you're going to need. Uh, these are two Melba toasts that have been crushed up, your two cloves of garlic, two tomatoes, uh, chicken breasts up to 100 grams. We're going to be using some thyme, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, liquid aminos, oregano, and salt and pepper as needed. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I only have one plate, and I only have one bowl. So every time you see me cooking, or eating, uh, I'm using the same stuff, so yeah. that's, that's one thing that Katie and I are going to be very happy when we move into our own place. We're going to have more than one bowl and more than one plate. Yeah, so I don't have to eat out of, uh... So you don't have to eat out of Tupperware anymore? Yeah. She's been eating her cereal every morning out of Tupperware. Okay, so we're going to let this marinate. Um, we're getting kind of hungry, so I'm probably only going to let it marinate for about, uh, 15 minutes or so. Okay, while that's marinating, we have uh, our garlic all chopped up. I went ahead and put in some uh, cayenne pepper, because who doesn't love a little kick? And then we don't have um, the basil leaves, so we're going to use thyme, like rosemary and thyme, all that. And then we have our oregano, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put this into our tomatoes. And they say we can add lemon juice to this as well. So I'm just going to do a little squirt of this guy. And some salt. And some pepper. I like the crushed pepper better because you can taste it more. They're thicker pieces. And then this gets put in the, uh, in the fridge. But since we're kind of hungry and we want to eat faster, we're going to go ahead and put this in the freezer. Perfume. Perfume. At least until our chicken's done. That way, it says it's uh, you're supposed to serve this cold, so that's why we want to put it in the freezer. So while our chicken is cooking, all this will be chilling away. So you serve this over hot chicken. So now that the chicken's been thoroughly marinated, we're going to flatten out our breadcrumbs here, our Melba Toast crumbs. Then we take our marinated chicken, and we put it on the Melba Toast. Just pat it down. That. Breaded. There's one. Okay, so these are thoroughly breaded now, and I'm going to put them onto the pan. Okay, what I didn't mention was that uh, you can use chicken broth. Um, you just want these to be golden brown. So, if they're going to start to burn, and you don't have any more oil or liquid that's flowing around the pan, go ahead and use the chicken broth, and that will uh, help you out. Yeah. Okay. Now we'll show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, so awesome. here is the finished product of our dinner. It looks delicious. It looks delicious. There's the chicken with all the breaded stuff on it. And then I took my bruschetta out of the freezer, and it's really cold, and the chicken's still really hot. So what we're going to do is put the bruschetta on the chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your hand a little, babe, so I can see it. Yeah. Cool. Packing it on there. Mmm. Oh man. The coldness with the hotness, with the spiciness and the sweetness. 
I think you found one of your favorite dishes. And the nestness, and a piece of watermelon. Mm hmm. Some good stuff, folks. Great dinner. Not to mention the Choco D that we made today. And the Choco D. All right, it's a good day. That's right, Katie reminded me of something. Today we did make Chocolate Delight, mm -hmm. but because that was like, it took us a long time to do it, uh, that's gonna be a separate vlog. So uh, we'll put the link down below, and I'm sure you'll also see it on the sidebar mm -hmm. of all of the uh, videos that we've had from the past. We're gonna watch Katie's recital. Yeah. Yeah, her senior recital. I wasn't able to go, it was really sad. So they made a DVD of it, so I'm gonna watch it right now, and hopefully I don't fall asleep. And I printed them out the translations and everything. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Look forward to reading while I have dinner. Aww. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, tomorrow is Easter. We wish you all a happy Easter. Happy Easter. We got a great surprise for you tomorrow. Katie did actually find her uh, Easter dress. Yes. So all of you who are concerned about that, you don't need to be. We will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye. Have a good night.